now we're doing maths paper one or level june 2020 session so this is a non calculator version but to make things uh, fast i'm going to be using a calculator for some things also the reason is that i don't have too much space there for working so i'm going to be using calculator for some things the aim of the paper is to explain the methods that we are supposed to to use or someone can say is to give you the, the thought process of approaching the questions okay number one express 208.9 in standard form so this is very simple just count from here one two i need to adjust my pain size no way to this one okay so just count from here one two so equals to 2.089 times 10 to the power we're counting to the left so it's positive so it's positive two then number b correct to three significant figures so it's 208 to three significant figures is going to be a uh, two uh, then that eight is affected by nine so it's going to be two zero nine okay then moving on c to the nearest hundred to the nearest hundred to the nearest hundred we will look at uh, the tens there so it's going to be two hundred so it's going to be two hundred there then evaluate negative 10 to the power 0 and number to the power 0 is 1 so it's going to be negative 1 that negative is not uh, it's not under it's not affected by that power but if it was like this this was going to, to give us 1 but now in this case we have negative 1 okay then there we have uh, when we are keeping something like that it's the like same as uh, saying square root of 4 over 9 then everything cubed so square root of 4 over 9 is equal to uh, 2 over 3 then cubing this one we get what uh, 8 over 3 cubed is what i think is a uh, 27 huh? let me confirm on my calculator here uh, 3 cubed yes it's 27 so let's move on to number number 3 we're given sets and the question says the Venn diagram shows 3 sets A, B and C with their respective elements list all elements of A intersection B A intersection B is this one here so we have two nine and one nine and one okay okay then item two is a union b complement okay a union b complement is this one this one wherever there is a and b okay then the complement is something that is not shaded there then intersection c one that is in c and not shaded so it's 11 and 3 11 and uh, 13 then number of a union c number of a union c let me clear space it there a union C, so it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So it's seven there. Okay. Now moving on to to number four. Solve the inequality with two minus y less than three y minus ten. So here I'm going to take this y to the side and remain. And remain with negative with uh, and remain with two take that y there to be four y minus ten then that ten going there is going to give me what a uh, twelve 
less than 4y then by 4 i'm going to get uh, 3 like this so y is greater than 3 okay now we're here the perfect square y satisfies both this one and that one Let's find the possible values of y perfect square is any number that you you can find is that is a a square root that doesn't have a comma like a four a nine sixteen so here we need to find the we need to solve for y there so let's do that uh, in fact we have done that one so we know that y is greater than a three and y is is less than or equal to nine so which means our y is what is four and nine then moving on number five solve this simultaneous equation uh, 2x plus y equals to 4 and x minus y equals to negative 2. So if I take equation 1 and equation 2, then I make equation the subject of the formula. I have y equals to 4 minus 2x. Then taking that one to equation 2, I get uh, x minus 4 plus 2x equals to negative 2. Then this side I get 3x equals to uh, 2. So x equals to 2 over 3. Then substituting here, I get y equals to 4 minus 2. Putting 2 over 3 there, which is equals to 4 minus 4 over 3, which is equals to what? 8 over 3. So we're done there. Number six, convert that one to base ten. It's three zero one base four. So I'm going to put zero, one, and two there. Okay, which means it's three times four to the power two plus uh, zero times four to the power one plus one times four to the power of zero like this so here is going to give me what 16 16 times 3 let me do that on a calculator 16 times 3 equals to 48 okay then here is 0 then here is what it's a 1 so my answer is going to be 49 there then a uh, Eight this one 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 zero one plus two one is what it's a one 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 like this eighteen my answer to base two so one plus one is two so I'm going to write zero and carry one so one plus one is going to be two write zero and carry one then a uh, uh, one two plus one it's going to be three so i'm going to write one and carry another one then this one is going to give us a a two so we're going to write zero and carry one then this one is going to come here so this is our answer then here is one three one plus five minus four two plus five then here we're subtracting so here we put uh, we add 5 here, so we get what 6. 6 minus uh, this 2 is going to be what? Uh, 4. Then we, we add 1 here and get 5. Then 3 minus 5, it can't. So we add uh, 5 here and get 8. So 8 minus 5, we get 3. Okay? Then we at one there, then one minus one, which is zero. So our answer is thirty-four base four base five. Then number number seven 
the mean of three numbers is is what seven the two of those numbers is say uh, four and minus five so if say four minus five plus x over three equals to seven then now we're supposed to find x there what is x how can i do this take three to the side and then here you get negative one plus x equals to uh, 21 then x equals to 22 so it's 22 here okay then number eight given that m is equal to half and n is equal to negative 2 evaluate uh, m minus n m minus n which is half minus negative 2 so it's going to be 2 plus half which is going to be 2.5 which is same as 3 which is same as 5 over 2 5 over 2 okay then coming here this mn which is a uh, half times negative 2 half times negative 2 over half plus negative 2 okay on top we get uh, negative 1 over here we get uh, we get negative uh, 3 over 2 which is same as 1 and a half okay so let's divide let's divide there so this is same as what it is same as uh, saying negative 1 uh, times 2 over 3 which gives us a uh, you have a negative again which give us a uh, 2 over 3 number 9 was expressing that as a single fraction so we have 2 minus 3 n then n there then this one into here is n which is now 2 n here then this one there is negative 1 times this one which is 2 minus uh, 3n okay so it's going to be 2n minus 2 plus 3n over 2 minus 3n n outside here we are going to have what we are going to have uh, 5 n minus 2 over 2n no it's 2 minus 3n like this then here yeah, the matrix is singular which means determinant is zero so this times this uh, we have x x plus 2 like this equals to no i'm supposed to say minus here minus this one which is a uh, 24 equals to zero so we have x squared plus 2x minus 24 equals to zero the common factors here are what negative negative 4 and positive 6 so we have x squared minus 4x plus 6x minus 24 equals to 0 then we have x x minus 4 and plus 6x minus 4 equals to 0 then x plus 6x minus 4 equals to 0 so x equals to one and six or four okay then now we are here given that f of x equals to k plus x and that f of 
negative 1 over 3 equals to 1 over 6. Find the power of k. So we are substituting that one. We are substituting this one there. And we are going to have k minus 1 third over 3 minus a third minus 2 equals to 1 over 6 okay so let's simplify that one they were going to remain with the k minus a third over this one will give me a negative 1 then it's going to be negative 3 there okay and then equals to 1 over 6 then cross multiplying the we can get um, 6k minus minus what a 30 times 6 is what it's a it's 2 right it's, it's 2 yes it's 2 there equals to negative 3 and then this one going there We've got 6k equals to 2 negative 1. So k equals to negative 1 over 6. So negative 1 over 6. Okay, then number 12. Given this one, find the value of what? Find the, the magnitude of p okay so magnitude of p equals to square root of 4, 5 squared plus 4 squared which is equals to 25 plus 16 then 25 plus 16 is how many it's 41 so our answer is what square root of 4 41 Question says in set form. Okay. And then in coming here, we are saying the difference of P and Q is equal to 2R. Okay. So P is what? It's 5, 4. And then Q is minus 3, 2. Then subtracting that one, we get 2XY. Okay, so this one is going to give us a 8 equals to 2x. Then this one is going to give us what? 2 equals to 2y. Therefore, x equals to 8 over 2, which is 4. And y equals to 2 over 2, which is 1. 13. A cell is means total monthly salary consists of a basic salary of 200 and 2% commission on his monthly sales. In one month, his total salary was 560. Calculate his commission for that month. So we are going to say 560 minus 200. Okay. So subtracting there, I've got a 0, a 6, and 3. So it's 360 there. Then P says what? A calculate the sales he made for that month. So the sales he made on for that month is equal to 2 over 100 times x, which is the sales equals to 360. Okay, so to find x, they were going to say what? Uh, 360 times 100, which is going to give us 36,000 over 2, which is going to be what? 18,000. Uh, so here, yeah, 18,000. Number 14, it is given that the uh, sine y equals to 5 over 13 and y is an acute angle. Find as a common fraction a uh, cos 180 minus y. So we know this uh, relationship which is uh, so katoa. Toa. Okay, so knowing this relationship, we know that sine equals to oppo over hype hypotenuse so 
we can actually draw a right angle right now like this this is 90 then this is angle y which means uh, this is 13 and then this is what this is 5 because sine is what 5 over 13 which is opposite of hypotenuse okay knowing these two we can actually find this one using pythagoras theory and using pythagoras theory we can say adjacent equals to square root of 13 squared minus 5 squared which is going to give us a 12 so which means here we have 12 there here we have 12 there let me erase this here we have 12 so knowing that one we are good which means uh, for this one we can simply go through this one tan is what what squares to oppo over arch arch i send so opposite over arch i send is what it is a 5 over 12 then for this one it was a bit tricky but you should know that cos a 180 minus y is same as negative cos y so knowing that one you can simply say negative what is cos y cos is a, is equal to h i cent over i portionist which is negative h i cent 12 over 18 so this is how you're supposed to tackle this one Number 15, the question says, the table shows grades obtained from, obtained by 150 candidates in a maths test. So find the median, the median, you know, supposed to find the center. So imagine arranging these things like A, 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 then you get five A, five A's, then B, 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 then you get 25 B's, then C, C, and then you get uh, 30 C's. So we want to find uh, where the center is. So the center of 150 is what? Is 75. So is 75 found in in this list of B or list of, of D's or list of what? So that's what we're trying to find. So if you if you do it carefully, five, thirty, uh, sixty, then sixty plus twenty-nine, that's where your your 75 will lie so the median lies in d then moving on to to see calculate the probability that two candidates chosen at random from the 150 obtained grade a or b so grade a is what grade a is what is a 5 then b is 25 so which means our probability here is what is 5 over 150 plus 25 over 150 then adding that one i get 30 over 150 which is 1 over uh, 5 so it's 150 16 a point r which is negative 3 negative 2 is mapped onto point r1 by a transformation represented by the matrix one zero zero negative one find the coordinates of r1 so r1 equals to uh, this matrix here multiplying our r which is negative three negative two so this is one say two by two multiplying a a, a, a a two by one so our result is going to be two by one so one times that negative three plus this times this zero so it's zero there then this times this zero a uh, times plus this times this which is a uh, two so this these are the coordinates of uh, of r1 the negative three a uh, two then we have a graph there in the diagram triangle p is the image of triangle q under a certain transformation describe the single transmission 
describe the single transformation that maps triangle P onto Q. Which one is P? This is P onto Q. So from the way it go here, you can see that it's like a mirror. So which means it's a reflection. And then we need to find the way this reflection is occurring. So it's occurring at, uh, this one is what? It's negative 2. This one is what? Uh, this one is 1. So the middle of this one is what? Is here. Which is around uh, negative half. Yes, it's negative half. So w then on describing, we say it's a reflection. Then a mirror line. Line is x equals to negative half. Okay. Then number 17. It is given that g is directly proportional to m over r and g equals to 1 when m is equals to 2 and r is equals to 3. Find the formula for calculating g, m and r. So g is directly proportional to m over r. You can remove that sign by saying g equals to k m over r. Then we substitute for, for g which is 1 equals to k m is 2 r is 3 so what is k uh, multiplying by 3 i'm going to get uh, 3 so k equals to 3 over 2 okay so the equation the formula there is equals to g equals to 3 over 2 m over r okay then B, find the numerical bar of G when M is 10 and R is 3. So G is equal to 3 over 2. M is 10 and R is 3. So this cancel. Then this one will give us 5. So G is equal to 5. Okay. Now we are looking at the uh, circuit geometry number 18. So I'm not going to read the statement because whatever they say here is what we are looking at there. So let's fill some angles there. Uh, these, uh, these two here, this 47 and this one share the same code. So this one is 47. Also this one shares the code with 28. So it's 28. This one is 90 and this one is 90 also. Then what else? Uh, I can now found this one. I can now find this one, which is what, which is um, 47 plus 28 plus 90, and then I subtract it from 180, so it's going to give me 15 there. If I have 15 here, it means I have 15 because the shake quote, so it's 15 there. Then this one, this one, I can, I know that a tangent meets a, this quote from center here at 90 degrees, so this one I'm going to say 90 minus a 15 plus 28 which is going to give me 47 okay so i think i filled all it. now let's try and answer b80 which one is b80 a b a d which one this one which is a what which is this a 47 plus a 15 which is going to give me what going to give me 62 then CDP which one is CDP um, C D P which is a 47 there then then C is C A B C A B which is 15 then bcd bcd i'm going to say what b c d i'm going to say 28 plus uh, 90 which is going to be what a uh, 118 then number 19 we're supposed to simplify that one so we can expand there and have 4b minus uh, 12 uh, plus uh, 6b and then correct 
adding the b's i will have 10 b minus 12 then factoring out 2 i would have a 5b minus 6 so this is an answer there then here i can group those that have y and those that have x so i have x plus x squared like that then minus y minus xy then factoring out x here i have x plus uh, no it's supposed to be 1 plus x then here i also factor out negative y and i'm going to get 1 plus x so this this is this is all about this one but 20a name the regular polygon which has rotational symmetry of order 5 so this is a pentagon then b the sum of interior angles of a hexagon is 720 three of its interior angles are 140 120 and 160 the remaining angles are, are in the ratio of 2 is to 3 is to 5 calculate the size of the largest in the remaining angles so i can say which 720 minus the total of this one 140 plus 120 plus 160 which is going to give me 300 and then now the total the total of this ratio is 10 so if i say 5 over 10 times 300 i'm going to get 150 this is the largest of the remaining angles given that log x is equal to 6 and log y is equal to negative 2 evaluate log xy so these are laws of logs log xy is same as what log x plus log y which is equal to what a 6 plus a negative 2 there which is same as minus 2 which gives us 4 there then p is same as log 1 minus log root of x this one is 0 so we have minus log a x to the power half then which is equals to half it's negative half log x so log x is what log x we are given that it is 6 so it's a negative half of 6 which give us a negative 3 here number 22 on a certain map a length of 2 centimeters represent 5 kilometers express the scale of the map giving the answer in form 1 is to n so we are saying 2 is to 5 so if you divide by 2 there by 2 we are going to get we are going to get 1 is to a 5 over 2 which is 1 is to 2.5 then b calculate the area of b calculate the area on the map in square centimeters which represent an actually area of 4 kilometers so we said our ratio is a 2 over 5 so you square that if you want to the ratio of areas you square the ratio of lengths so you are going to get 4 over 25 okay so having that one you can now say a 4 represent 25 and x represent 4 so x you cross multiply there and get 25 25x equals to this which is 16 dividing by 25 you get x equals to 0 0.6 Number 23, we are given this shape, and the question says in the diagram AODF and BOCE are straight lines intersecting at O. AB is parallel to CD and EF. AB equals to CD equals to 6, OD equals to 4 centimeters, and DF equals to 8 centimeters. Then, question name the triangle which is congruent to AOB. Which one? AOB. Which one is congruent to this one? If you look at this one, we have angles that match there because we have set angles and they are vertically opposite uh, angle and then one side which is equal. So we are going to say uh, A or B is congruent to is congruent to D or C. 
then item 2 two triangles which are similar to triangle a or b similarity and congruence we mean both angles and sides are equal but similarity a uh, size can be proportional but angles need to be equal so for similarity we have what we have d or c and f o e this one here f o e since we said congruence means that they are similar in every way uh, angles and sides so if this one is congruent to this one simply means that this one is similar to the big one so i'm going to ignore this one this is this one and deal with these two so which means here a uh, ef a over a uh, cd equals to a uh, fo over do okay so e f over ct which is 6 equals to fo which is a uh, which is 8 plus 4 which give us 12 over a uh, this 4 so if we rearrange there we get e f equals to a uh, 18 okay so this is our value for for e f Number 24A, a straight line is created in negative 1 and passes through point 30. Find the equation of the line in form y squared to mx plus c. Okay, so uh, the formula for gradient, which is y1 minus y2 over x1 minus x2, we can use that one uh, to say negative 1 equals to y1, which I'm going to say y minus y2, this 0 over. A x1 then minus 3 which is our x2 so cross multiplying there i get a negative x plus 3 equals to y so y equals to negative x plus 3 this is the form there then coming to b the solution of a quadratic equation uh, x is negative 1 and x is 3 write down the quadratic equation in form a x squared plus bx plus c equals to zero where a and where a b and c are integers okay so we know that uh, our first uh, our first solution is what x plus one times uh, x minus three then we expand that one equals to zero then we expand that one so we get x squared a uh, minus 3 x plus x a uh, minus 3 which is same as a uh, x squared a uh, minus 2x minus 3 equals to 0 equals to 0 so this is our answer there okay so number 25 the diagram shows triangle x y z where x y is 6 centimeters and uh, x z is 10 centimeters and uh, y x z is 30 degrees use as much of the information given below as necessary uh, where sine 30 is equal to 0 0.5 cos 30 equals to 0 0.87 tan 30 equals to 0 0.581 calculate the area of triangle a uh, x y z area of triangle is of a b sine theta where a b are sides that have an angle inside them so it's of a b which is of six times ten sine sine theta our theta is what is a third so we have what 0 0.5 times 6 times 10 times a uh, 0 0.5 let me do that one so we have 0 0.5 times 6 times 10 times 0 0.5 which gives us a uh, 15 square centimeters 
then the length of yz leaving answer in straight form once the length of this one uh, i can use what i can use the the cosine rule yes let's use the cosine rule so cosine rule we're saying cos 30 equals to a uh, 10 squared plus 6 squared 10 squared plus 6 squared minus this side that i want which i'm going to call x squared over 2 times 10 times 6 okay then i'm losing space there so i'm going to say what um cos uh, that is what 0 0.87 so 0 0.87 there times a uh, 2 times 10 times 6 is 120 120 there then i'm i'm what i'm saying equals to then here is 100 plus 36 which is 136 136 plus minus minus x squared there minus x squared okay so let's say one zero let's say zero point eight seven times one twenty equals to one zero four point four i'm subtracting one thirty six minus a answer minus one thirty six okay i have my answer then i need to say square root of answer to find x so x equals to square root of 4 31.6 okay which is same as a square root of what 158 over 5 okay so that's our answer okay now we're on number 26 we're given a graph there and the question says the diagram is a speed time graph of an object which decelerates uniform from a speed of 50 50 meters per second to a speed of 30 meters per second in that in 20 seconds it further decelerates uniform for 10 seconds until it comes to rest find the speed when t is 5 seconds so first we need to find the acceleration or deceleration so what is that it is the gradient of that line so what is gradient change in y over change in x so what is change in y change in y is a a is um y1 minus y2 so what is y1 y1 there a y1 is what it's a this 50 minus y2 is what y2 is this one which is the 30 over change in x we are here change in x we are here and here so it's a 0 minus 20 so this is going to give us what 20 over negative 20 which is negative 1 so our a here is equals to negative 1 all right so having that one we can use our equation that says a equals to a v minus u over over t which can be rearranged into saying v equals to u plus a t so plugging there what is our u our u is uh, 50 because we're starting at 50 plus what is our a negative 1 then our t we're given there as 5 seconds then if you solve that one you're going to get 45 a uh, meters per second okay then moving on b calculate acceleration of the object during the last 10 seconds so we want to calculate this acceleration here this one during the last 10 seconds okay so how do we do that uh, we can say a equals to v minus u over t what is our v our v is a uh, zero because it is it accelerates to to stopping here to stopping there so that's zero our v minus our u we're starting from 
from here which is uh, 30 so 0 minus 30 over our t is what is 10 seconds there so this one is going to be negative 30 over 10 which is negative 3 uh, uh, which is negative 3 so this is called deceleration because it is negative and then item 3 we are supposed to calculate the distance traveled and the distance traveled is equal to area under the graph okay so we can have a1 a2 and a3 then we're going to add these areas okay so let me do it here instead of going there because i need to be seeing this area here so a equals to a1 a1 plus a2 plus a3 what is my a1 equals to half half base base is this one which is a 20 let me clear this one so base is what it's 20 there our height is this one from 50 to from 30 to 50 which is 20 okay so it's going to give us what a 200 then a2 equals to this one length times width so which is a 30 times 20 which is a 600 then a3 equals to half our base is this one which is 10 times our height which is a 30 which will give us a 150 okay so our area now equals to 150 plus 600 plus 200 which is equal to what 150 plus 600 plus 200 equals to 950 950 so here is what 950 meters okay this is number 27 a uh, the question says the diagram shows the cross section of a concrete drinking trough which is three meters long a b equals to 2.2 meters and b c equals to a g equals to one meter c d equals to f g equals to 0 0.4 meter df the diameter of the drinking trough is 1.4 meter take by to be 22 over 7 calculate the perimeter so the perimeter there is simple simply say a 2.2 plus these ones will make a 2 plus these two 0 0.4s will make a 0 0.8 plus a this one a the cavity part which is half which is the which is half perimeter of a circle so uh, it's going to be half pi d our d is 1.4 so this is what we have here so we are going to have what adding there i'm going to get what uh, i think it's what it's five yeah if i'm not mistaken the 2.2 yeah, so it's a uh, it's five plus then there is what is a half times two two over seven times one over four is what is one over four is same as same as seven over five okay then this one will cancel this one will cancel and make 11 there so 11 over 5 5 plus 11 over 5 what is 11 over 5 same as 2.2 .2. so it's now 5 plus 2.2 .2, which is 7.2 meters okay the area of the cross section okay the area of that one is what area of a rectangle minus that half cycle so let's do that so it's what what is our length 2.2 .2 times 1 
so it's 2.1 which is give us 2.2 this is the area of a rectangle minus the area of uh, of that uh, circular part which is the half pi r which is half uh, pi r squared which is equals to 0 0.5 times 2 2 over 7 times 0 0.7 squared okay so 0 0.7 squared equals to that one times 0 0.5 equals to that one times 2 2 over 7 equals to 0 0.77 so it's 2 2 minus 0 0.77 so 2 point two minus zero point seven seven giving us a one point four three square meters this is the volume so volume is equals to what base area times height so our base area is this one which is one four three times our height which is three meter yes so it's three meter so if I multiply these ones I'm going to get what going to get 4.29 cubic meter 